Yo, what's up everyone, Bytor here. A quick disclaimer, this video was shot a couple of weeks back before the holidays, as the entire team will take a well-deserved break. Thank you to all of our patrons for supporting us and helping us deliver this content to you. If you would like to become a supporter of the channel, because you believe we are providing value now and in the future, please hit the link in the description below. It will cost you only one glass of beer a month that you can share with the team. We appreciate it in advance. Finally, before jumping into today's content, we would like to wish everyone in the community a great Christmas and an amazing new year. Let us help you try to nail that interview so you can start 2022 with the right foot. All right. So this next question was asked during an interview to one of our Patreon members. This member decided to submit the question for your benefit. So let's dive into it. The interviewer will show you the following circuit and say, there is a step response at the input from zero to 1.5 volts. Can you draw the voltage at V out and the terminal V minus of the amplifier? I like the fact that the interviewer decided to help the candidate by saying, draw the voltage at the terminal V minus of the amplifier, because this helps the person interviewing realize that they cannot possibly know how V out will behave without knowing how V minus will behave. Other interviewers will simply say, can you sketch the voltage at V out to see if you can figure out the intermediate steps on your own. Let me give you 10 seconds here for you to pause the video and try to answer the question on your own. If you are a seasoned community member, you know the first thing we do in an interview setting is ask questions. Here, it was explicitly mentioned that the amplifier has a limited open loop gain of 100. What about the bandwidth though? We should ask the following. Can I assume the bandwidth of the amplifier to be infinite? Let's assume the interviewer says, yes, you can assume that. A second question to ask is regarding the power supplies of the amplifier. You can say something along the lines of, I see the amplifier doesn't have any power rails. Should I assume the headroom of the amplifier to be infinite as well? or are we limited by a power supply range? Again, let's assume the interviewer says you can assume your power rails to be infinite. The questions we asked here show the interviewer that we are very aware of every aspect of the circuit and are not amateurs trying to answer the first thing that comes to our mind. Armed with all this information, let's try to tackle the solution now. If there are any additional questions you would ask the interviewer, please let us know in the comments below. Let me draw some axes here for the input voltage, the V minus terminal of the amplifier, and the output voltage. Now, let's evaluate the circuit right before the input response, meaning when the input voltage is zero. At DC, the capacitor will act as an open circuit, so the voltage from the input is blocked at the negative terminal of the op amp. By redrawing the circuit, we can see that the amplifier is in a negative feedback configuration with the positive terminal at 1 volt. If the amplifier is in negative feedback, the V plus and V minus terminals of the amplifier should be equal. However, Due to the limited gain of the amplifier, there will be an error between the terminals. How much is the error? If we remember the loop gain formula for any feedback configuration, that is A0 divided by 1 plus A0 times beta, we can see that if A0 is 100 and beta is 1 due to the unity gain configuration, then the error is going to be 100 divided by 101. That means that terminal V minus and hence V out will be at 990 millivolts. Let's also be mindful that if this is the case, 
then the capacitor has a delta V of 990 millivolts across it. Then, right after the step response, the input voltage goes up to 1.5 volts. Since the delta V of the capacitor has to be maintained, that means the terminal V- minus of the amplifier also jumps to 2.49 volts. Since the bandwidth of the amplifier is infinite, then the output will react infinitely fast to the change at the negative terminal. In other words, V out will fall to compensate for the delta V it sees at the terminals V plus and V minus. To what value would it fall to? It's rather clear that the output will be as low as negative 149 volts. That's the delta V of 2.49 volts minus the one volt at the V plus terminal of the amplifier times the gain of the amplifier. At this output voltage, current will start flowing through the resistor in this direction, discharging the capacitor. In other words, we will see a CR high pass filter response. V minus from the amplifier will discharge from 2.49 volts until the initial voltage of 990 millivolts while V out will increase from negative 149 volts all the way up to 990 millivolts. It is easy to see that after everything has settled, in other words, at steady state or DC, we will end up with the modified circuit that we started with. Hence, the voltages should be the same as in the beginning. And there you have it. Another great interview question submitted by one of the members of our lovely community. Thank you so much to our Patreon members. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button if you enjoy the content today. Also, if you enjoy the content, please consider becoming a patron to support the channel. Make sure to enable the little bell icon to be notified of the raffles for mock interviews that we will be conducting next year. See you next time. Cheers.